Hello YouTubers, it's time for a rabbit barn update, upgrade. You see that hose on there, it goes into that three quarter inch CPVC. Looks like I gotta block it up here and there, fasten it up. But it runs all the way over there, up, and over to my barrel. Let's go up and take a look. Here's my barrel. I kind of got this idea from Vicky Gravy 111. I'll put a link in the bottom if I can remember. She used a the tank off of a toilet with the float to keep the water level going to the automatic waterers for her rabbits. Well, I wanted to put that in here, but I didn't know how to do it because the the mechanism is mounted at the bottom and I would have to make a bracket that went down like this so that I wouldn't have holes in the side of the bucket where water was at. And I thought about it and this is what I came up with. Here's where the water comes in and I drilled a hole down here in the side so when I'm not up here I have a lid over it to keep dirt and bugs from getting in it. Well I put this aluminum bracket across the top to hang a bucket and inside the bucket I drilled a hole in the center in the bottom and holes around the edges and it's u-shaped for the float to come out and the water shoots out here and comes out of the bottom of the toilet bowl thing of a jigger I put a couple bricks in it to kind of help steady it and keep it down it looks like I need to turn the water on, so I, I just drain five gallons out. I like to drain five gallons out, that way I get five gallons of fresh, cool water back in it, so that the water up here doesn't get too warm. It's actually pretty chilly. I'll see if I can get you in here where you can see. Maybe a light on it helps. I think you'll be able to see it. I'll go turn the water on. A little bit noisy. The reason I wanted to do this was Carrying two five-gallon buckets up that stairway got to be a little treacherous at times. I almost tripped and fell a few times. And I didn't want to fall down those stairs, especially with ten gallons of water. And if you know me, I need some way of automatically shutting this off because I would turn it on, forget to shut it off, and flood the whole barn. It might take a little while to fill up. I'll bring you back just as it's about ready to shut off. Holy crap, I didn't think it was ever going to fill up. Okay, I used, I think it was a uh, stainless steel flexible line. I believe it was for... Uh, ice making machines or something. I had to find the right fittings for the bottom of the toilet um, bowl float thingamajig. But uh, took me a while of searching around in Menards but I found all the the bits and pieces to make it work and it's nice not having to carry five gallon buckets up here. Thanks for watching.